We are expecting some new details this morning about the Noblesville student who admitted to the shooting at Noblesville West Middle School back in May. The 13-year-old in this case has already admitted guilt to all of the counts against him. Our Matt McCutcheon is live in Noblesville this morning with a closer look at what type of punishment that teen could face. Matt? Julia, good morning to you. Today is what's called a disposition hearing. So if you're wondering what exactly that may be because you're used to following court cases or perhaps a court uh, TV shows, for example, this is basically what would be in the adult world, the sentencing phase. That is what is going to happen here in juvenile court here for today's disposition hearing. Now, here's what we're really waiting for today. Two main things. First, length of punishment. Despite admitting to 11 accusations, including two counts of murder, the teen could actually face less than a year year in a facility, which is the next order of business, the facility type. Prosecutors want him to be placed with the State Department of Corrections. The teen's lawyers, however, want it to be in a private treatment facility. Prosecutors are pushing for the maximum sentence, saying that the teenager is obsessed with violence, guns, and hurting people. Part of that, they say, really comes from a video played in court. It was recorded the day of the Noblesville West Middle School shooting back in May, where the teen shows guns and says, quote, Tomorrow is Friday. You know what that means. I have to take a life and then my own. It's going to be fun. Well, the teen admitted to the crime in court here just last week. He also apologized. So all of that has been weighed by a judge since last week's hearing, along with other evidence here in this case. And today really will be the determination of those two things, the facility type and the length of how long he will be in that facility. All that gets underway here at 9 o'clock this morning at the Hamilton County Courthouse in Noblesville. Of course, we will be inside and bring you the fresh details on the WTHR app and of course on WTHR.com and coming up here in our next half hour we are learning new information about one of the shooting victims and all of that Ella Whistler will have an update on how she is doing coming up here at five o'clock on sunrise Ben and Julia all right Matt thank you